I have to go around. You take that! Those must be the windows of the guarded rooms. Clever invention for hiding gambling items in the event of a police raid. The Hammer. Jack Cole, I remember him from the raid three years ago. Doesn't look like a key from an ordinary door. They only left this room.
The man from the gambling room is the same car cheating accessory. A crack. There might be something behind the cupboard. Damn, I'm late. Left. It's evident that all of these items were stolen by Jack Cole's gang. It's the suitcase belonging to the fellow with the hair lip. No doubt these things were stolen. Our man, most likely with his family. After moving into our new home. This fellow pawned his belongings. He must be in great need of money. This fellow pawned... Butler's pawn shop on Lambert Street. He apparently near this portion. <laughs> What's going on in there? Save awesome and quickly. You sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! You... you are Alice, yeah? Listen, Holmes suspects something. What are you talking about? Must be more discreet. Your little game with his daughter. No, no, no! Too soft, Holmes! But... you are Mr. Holmes. Why on earth? You see? She recognized you. I expected it. You must live the character. You see... Now you go upstairs right away or I will drive you back to that pub, understood? And there you are. You've got it. 
I... <laughs> All right. But seriously, you should take acting classes. I know that you came here to avenge your father. You moved into my building, you've spied on me, and now you prepare your revenge through my own daughter. Don't be such a fool. I adore your daughter. You see conspiracies in everything. I have good reason to. Perhaps you forget what I do for a living. How I pity you. You mistake sincerity for dishonesty. Do you tell me that your presence here is accidental? Obviously not. When the opportunity arose for me to meet you, then I came, but not with hatred, rather more with fascination. I had hoped to learn something about my father from you, some answers as to my identity, when, strangely enough, I find that you yourself are a riddle, even to your own daughter. You shouldn't have my daughter in your sick problems. You're only confusing her. It's over. She doesn't know it yet, but I'll be leaving soon. I've finished my business here, and you will never hear from me again. Good. But you better speak to me directly. No being furtive. I had no idea that you could show such a high level of indulgence towards the children of criminals. Please, I beg you, do not spoil my last moments with Caitlin. <laughs> it's a good thing that I came to help you at the tavern, Holmes. Actually, I would far rather you stop helping me. Here it is. Good day, Constable. Is Inspector Lestrade here? Inspector Lestrade is back at his office.
Mr. Holmes, you're still alive. I can tell that that displeases you. Oh, a faulty deduction for once. Due to the attempt made on my life, I would like you to apprehend Jack Cole. All right, Mr. Holmes, we'll apprehend him immediately. Inspector, the suspect has been apprehended. There you are. He's all yours. No need to thank me. How can I help you, Holmes? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. So, Jack the Hammer Cole, we meet again. Oh, why am I here? Don't pretend that you don't know. You're a suspect in the case of an attempt made on my life. Rubbish. Just like the old days, eh? Arresting me on suspicion. You've got nothing. Oh, no. How about the revenge for the trouble that I brought to your gang? And also your brother. You dare mention my brother. Your brother was hurt. It was a regrettable accident. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can hardly be blamed for that. What? You bastard. You're the one responsible for him becoming a cripple. He was innocent. An accident, you say? Oh, I can't wait for the moment that you whacked proper. Quad Erat Demonstrata. <laughs> That's your proof. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. Do you know what happened at Baker Street that night? I do know, but I had nothing to do with it. And where were you at the time? I was at my tavern all night long. I see. I went to and I saw a man with a hair lip arriving to meet with you. What business do you have with him? Business? He's a regular customer, that's all. And what about the suitcase that your regular customer brought to you? What? What are you talking about? Why, the suitcase full of stolen silverware that I found secret room? What? How? You search my room! It's not stolen. I often buy a lot of different things and sell them on after. It's all legal. Oh. Oh, I believe you. Personalized thuggery, a novel. Expensive cigarettes.
are suspect with his family near their house. Good day to you. Day, sir. I'm here to see your son. Jeremiah? He's not at home now. Might I ask you a few questions about him? Perhaps we could speak inside. I don't know who you are, sir, but I'll have to ask you to leave right away. She won't speak with a stranger. There is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. First, I should speak with Wiggins. He's always on Baker Street. The game is afoot. Not a word. Into your clothes and come. Wiggins, an exit to call 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. We're ready, Gov. Someone close the door. I should find a way to attract the attention of Jeremiah's mother.
Little rascal! Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. Thank you, Father. You are so kind. Those brats are always causing trouble. Now, where are my manners? Uh, may I offer you a cup of tea as a small thank you? I don't know if... God bless you, sister. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honour that God sent you to me. You appear grieved, sister. Is it because of those children? Oh, no. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude to be such a nice boy. These days he won't spend any time at all with us, not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door, and he won't open it for anyone. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know the job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I would. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything and he flies, rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I... I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God! Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, Father. Case and books, possessed ah! wooden words, expel all literary demons! Ah! Wooden door, iron handle, battle the demon, ah! unholy vandal! It's a day. Oh, Holy Spirit, save your pans from demons for ah. musicianship. Window! Window frame! I uh, must protect you from demonic pain! Pain! <laughs> Fire and flames! Better for crumpets than foul toothed demons! Be gone and bring peace! <laughs> Sister, you saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. God save us. Sister, wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. Does he plan to escape from London? It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written.
It appears that Jeremiah received a threat from somebody known as the Dart. The Dart. A schematic for a homemade bomb. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye.